Want to become a speaker at DEF CON? Of course you do, and we've got tips to help make it happen. Secure Ninja. Here at DEF CON 24, we spoke to a lot of speakers about the topics they presented, but we also took a moment to ask each of them what they thought was the secret sauce to getting their CFP accepted. We've compiled a lot of great tips for you, and you'll notice a common theme. To become a speaker at DEF CON, I'd see it as more, uh, you have to come up with an idea that is simple, unique, and not represented in the current community or prior art, making it somewhat of a challenge to, to find, but they, they exist. I think the best way for you to become a speaker at DEF CON is one, have something to say. It's like everybody out there has a topic that they're passionate about that they can share. That's part one. That's the most important part. Two, they've got to articulate it correctly. And one of the first ways that you get to tell if that happens is by your CFP, uh, the call for papers. The way to stand out in the DEF CON CFP process is to uh, have a a compelling abstract because the review board is judging your research uh, based off a 350 word abstract and an outline. So uh, if you want your work to be chosen, uh, I guess you should make sure that it has a real impact on the world and make sure that it's great quality new research. I think it uh, takes a little bit of you want to try to do it and try to help the community and you need to come up with an idea that is original. Like I, my idea was marrying um, pass the hash with forensics so that, you know, it tells the hacker community, hey, what do you guys leave behind when you pass hash in somebody's environment? And that's what I did my talk at, at uh, for at DEF CON 23. <laughs> DEF CON likes new content, and um, I think uh, the way that I try to drive my research uh, in, in a way that would be optimized for DEF CON is uh, to have the research have a real impact on the world. So. Uh, DEF CON really receives lots of quality content every year. In fact, this year they received, I think, about 800 submissions, and they chose maybe 80. So all each one of these submissions uh, represent months and months of hard work from a security researcher, and um, they're all good quality. I am the worst at CFPs. It's like I do. I, I've gotten rejected by a lot of cons, and some of them have said, you know, well, yeah, I've heard Jason talk. He does great talks, but this, I don't know what this is. I don't know where it's going. So I'm not the best example on CFPs, but there are people that have given talks on CFPs, and there's people that uh, there's a speaker's corner where someone talks about what to do to get a good CFP, especially for DEF CON. So your DEF CON CFP's got to have stuff like exactly what you're talking about, a complete outline of all the things that you're revealing, all the things that you're showing, uh, the abstract on why someone should go and see it. It's like, what's new? What's helpful? What, how is it going to help the people that are taking time out of this con to see your talk? How is it going to make them better and are more secure once they leave? And you could just build a bionic hand. They, you know, you know I, I think it, it can't hurt anything to be really passionate and excited about what you're, what you're presenting on. Um, I think people, people like coming to see that. It's, uh, it's refreshing. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this episode from DEF CON 24. Do us a favor, leave us a comment below, and let us know what you thought of this episode. Also, what other type of content would you like to see from these shows? Let us know if you were at DEF CON as well. We'd love to hear from our fans. If you haven't yet subscribed to Secure Ninja TV, click the red button below and join us so you don't miss a thing. I'm Alicia Webb, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.